Prince, a name synonymous with musical genius and boundless creativity. He defied categorization, captivating the world with his showmanship and innovative sound. Prince's influence transcended music, challenging societal norms and advocating for social justice. Prince's impact went beyond record sales. He redefined what it meant to be a musician and artist. His concerts were legendary, showcasing his versatility and raw talent. Offstage, his enigmatic persona added to his allure. Prince's legacy continues to resonate. His influence spans generations, inspiring countless artists. He redefined the artist-audience relationship, challenging the music industry. Prince's impact is immeasurable and everlasting. Prince Rogers. Nelson was born on June 7, 1958 in Minneapolis. He taught himself multiple instruments and wrote his first song by age seven. Forming his first band, Grand Central, he captivated audiences with his raw energy. At 19, he signed his first recording contract with Warner Brothers. Prince's debut album, For You, introduced his unique blend of funk pop and soul. His second album, Prince, marked a turning point with hit singles like I Wanna Be Your Lover. His live performances became legendary, blending explosive energy with quiet intimacy. Prince's androgynous style and charisma challenged societal norms. In 1980, Prince released Dirty Mind, a groundbreaking album. The album's raw energy and provocative lyrics resonated with a generation. Dirty Mind solidified Prince's artistic freedom and visionary status. It sparked conversations about race, gender, and sexuality. Prince's 1982 album, 1999, catapulted him to superstardom. The album's title track became an anthem for a generation. Little Red Corvette pushed the limits of pop radio. 1999 solidified Prince's status as a musical innovator. In 1984, Prince released Purple Rain, a cultural phenomenon. The album's title track became his signature song. The film Purple Rain resonated with audiences worldwide. Purple Rain's success transcended musical boundaries. In 1987, Prince released Sign O oh, The Times, a double album. The album addressed issues of poverty, drug addiction, and social injustice. Sign O oh, The Times showcased Prince's versatility and artistic vision. It was hailed as a masterpiece upon its release. In the 1990s, Prince evolved his sound with Diamonds and Pearls. The album was a commercial success with hit singles like Get Off. Prince's willingness to experiment kept him relevant. Diamonds and Pearls demonstrated his enduring appeal. In 1993, Prince adopted an unpronounceable symbol as his new moniker. This act was a statement about 
artistic freedom and control. He aimed to break free from corporate constraints. The media referred to him as the artist, formerly known as Prince. The name change was only the tip of the iceberg. Prince's battle with Warner Brothers intensified, becoming increasingly public and acrimonious. He felt stifled by their control over his music and artistic direction. He wanted to release music at his own pace and explore different creative avenues. Warner Brothers had a vested interest in maximizing profits. They viewed Prince as a hit-making machine. This clash led to a bitter standoff. Prince began appearing in public with the word slave written on his cheek. He saw his contract as a form of servitude. In 1996, Prince finally broke free from his Warner Brothers contract. He celebrated by releasing Emancipation, a triple album. The album showcased Prince's diverse musical palette and unbridled creativity. It was a testament to his artistic liberation. The name change and the slave branding were powerful artistic statements. Some felt Prince was being overly dramatic. Others questioned the effectiveness of his protest. The name change created confusion and distanced Prince from the mainstream. Radio DJs struggled with his new moniker and fans were unsure how to refer to him. Prince's actions were about reclaiming artistic agency. His name change sparked a conversation about artistic ownership. Prince's decision to change his name to a symbol was a bold and controversial move, but it was ultimately a testament to his unwavering belief in artistic freedom. He refused to be defined by his past by a name he felt no longer represented his true self. Instead, he chose a symbol, a visual representation of his evolving identity and his ongoing pursuit of creative liberation. While the name change may have caused confusion and alienated some, it also inspired countless artists and fans who admired his courage and his unwavering commitment to artistic integrity. Prince's battle with Warner Brothers was a watershed moment in the fight for artists' rights. His willingness to challenge the industry's power structure, even at the risk of his own commercial success, paved the way for other artists to demand greater control over their careers and their art. The name change, far from being a mere publicity stunt, was a powerful act of defiance, a declaration of independence that continues to resonate within the music industry today. To truly grasp Prince's unparalleled artistry, one had to witness him in concert. His concerts were legendary, renowned for their explosive energy and virtuoso musicianship. He connected with audiences on a visceral level, drawing them into his world of music and passion. Clad in, fine, uh, in flamboyant attire, Prince commanded attention from the moment he stepped on stage. His stage presence was magnetic, a captivating blend of raw sexuality and playful swagger. The Purple Rain Tour launched in support of his iconic 1984 album and film became a global phenomenon solidifying Prince's status as one of the most dynamic and captivating live performers of all time. The stage design was elaborate, featuring a massive steel cage, cascading chains, and a purple motorcycle that Prince would ride across the stage. His costumes, a dazzling array of ruffled shirts, brocade jackets, and skin-tight pants, further accentuated his androgynous appeal. One of the most remarkable aspects of Prince's appeal was his ability to connect with audiences from all walks of life. 
His concerts were a melting pot of ages, races, and backgrounds, all drawn together by the universal language of his music. Prince's message of love, freedom, and individuality resonated deeply with people from all walks of life, transcending cultural and social barriers. His music had a unique ability to unite people, to create a sense of shared experience and collective euphoria that extended far beyond the concert hall. Whether he was performing for a stadium, packed with screaming fans, or an intimate gathering of industry insiders, Prince brought the same level of intensity, passion, and artistry to every performance. He challenged audiences to confront their preconceived notions of race, gender, and sexuality, creating a space where everyone felt welcome to be themselves. His concerts were a celebration of diversity, a testament to the power of music to unite people from all walks of life. Prince's legacy as a live performer is forever etched in the annals of music history. His concerts were legendary, not just for their musical virtuosity, but for their ability to transport audiences to another realm, a world where anything was possible and self-expression reigned supreme. He redefined what it meant to be a showman, seamlessly blending music, fashion, and theatricality into an unforgettable experience. His impact on live performance continues to inspire generations of artists, encouraging them to push boundaries, challenge conventions, and connect with their audiences on a deeper, more meaningful level. Prince's concerts were more than just entertainment. They were transformative experiences that left audiences feeling energized, inspired, and forever changed. His legacy as a live performer is one of innovation, passion, and an unwavering commitment to pushing the boundaries of what's possible on stage. In the heart of Chanhassen, Minnesota, just outside his hometown of Minneapolis, Prince built more than a recording studio. He built a world of his own. Paisley Park, completed in 1987, housed state-of-the-art recording facilities, sound stages, rehearsal spaces, and even a night club. It was a physical manifestation of Prince's boundless creativity, a self-contained universe. Paisley Park became Prince's sanctuary, a place where he could fully immerse himself in his art. Prince's quest for artistic freedom extended beyond his music. It permeated his entire approach to the music industry. Dissatisfied with major labels, he established Paisley Park Records in 1985. This venture showcased his entrepreneurial spirit and desire for creative control. Paisley Park nurtured talent like Sheila E., The Time, and The Family, contributing to the Minneapolis sound. He actively developed his artists, producing and writing for them. In 1993, he changed his name to a symbol, protesting Warner Brothers' so, so, and so, so Royal's control. Paisley Park Records marked a significant step toward his artistic independence. In 1984, Prince took the world by storm with Purple Rain, a semi-autobiographical rock musical that transcended the boundaries of film and music. The movie, a gritty yet glamorous portrayal of Prince's rise to fame in the Minneapolis music scene, resonated with audiences worldwide, becoming a cultural phenomenon that cemented his status as a global icon. Purple Rain was more than just a film. It was an immersive experience, a fusion of music, fashion, and raw emotion that captured the spirit of a generation hungry for authenticity and self-expression. Prince's performance as the kid 
a talented but troubled musician navigating the complexities of love, family, and the cutthroat world of music was both electrifying and heartbreaking, revealing a vulnerability beneath his flamboyant stage persona. The film soundtrack, a masterpiece in its own right, seamlessly blended rock anthems, soulful ballads, and funk grooves, all anchored by Prince's signature guitar work and impassioned vocals. Songs like Purple Rain, When Doves Cry, and Let's Go Crazy became instant classics, topping the charts and etching themselves into the fabric of popular culture. Purple Rain was a critical and commercial triumph, grossing over $80 million worldwide. It earned Prince an Academy Award for Best Original Song Score. He became a symbol of creative freedom and artistic integrity. Purple Rain broke new ground in his portrayal of a black musician on screen. The kid defied stereotypes, showcasing ambition and vulnerability. The film celebrated the power of music to unite diverse backgrounds. Purple Rain redefined musicals, blending grit and glamour. It cemented Prince's legacy as a visionary artist and cultural icon. Prince's journey was one of extraordinary talent, unwavering self-belief, and a relentless pursuit of artistic freedom. From his early days as a prodigy in Minneapolis to his reign as a global icon, he challenged conventions and shattered expectations. He redefined music, fashion, and performance, a true original who defied categorization. His music was a vibrant tapestry of funk, rock, pop, and soul, infused with raw sensuality and innovation. Prince's impact transcended genres. He was a cultural force who inspired generations to embrace individuality. His concerts were legendary for their explosive energy and virtuoso musicianship. Though he left us in 2016, his legacy continues to inspire countless artists. Prince's influence on music is immeasurable. His fingerprints evident in the work of artists across generations and genres, from Lenny Kravitz and D'Angelo to Beyonce and Justin Timberlake, who have cited him as a major inspiration. Prince's DNA can be traced through the evolution of contemporary music. His fearless blending of genres and mastery of multiple instruments have left an indelible mark. But Prince's impact extends far beyond sonic imitation. His fight for artistic control and willingness to challenge the status quo have inspired countless artists. His legacy is a reminder that true artistry requires talent, courage, and conviction. Prince's impact transcends the realm of music, extending into the worlds of fashion, film, and popular culture. His androgynous style, a captivating blend of masculine and feminine elements, challenged traditional gender norms and paved the way for greater fluidity and self-expression in fashion. His flamboyant costumes, his signature ruffled shirts, and brocade jackets became as iconic as his music, influencing designers and inspiring countless fans to embrace their own unique sense of style. His film, Purple Rain, a cultural phenomenon that captured the spirit of a generation, remains a touchstone for its groundbreaking music, its raw portrayal of ambition and vulnerability, and its celebration of individuality and creative freedom. The film's impact on cinema is undeniable, paving the way for more diverse and inclusive storytelling in mainstream Hollywood. More importantly, Prince's legacy is one of unwavering integrity, relentless creativity, and an unyielding belief in the power of music to transcend boundaries and unite people from all walks of life. He was a true original, an artist 
who refuse to be confined by genre, convention, or expectation. Prince's music continues to resonate with audiences of all ages, his songs as timeless and relevant today as they were when they were first released. His catalog remains a treasure trove of sonic innovation, emotional depth, and sheer musical brilliance. A testament to his enduring legacy as one of the greatest artists of all time. He was a true icon a visionary who changed the face of music and inspired millions with his artistry, his passion, and his unwavering belief in the power of music to heal, to inspire, and to transform. Prince's purple reign may have come to an end, but his music, his message, and his spirit of creative revolution continue to inspire and ignite the world. He was and forever will be a singular talent, a true original, and an irreplaceable force in the universe of music. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Diving Into Life with Augustus, for more content like this.